Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sova, the teacher librarian at Diane Feinstein Elementary School, and I've got some exciting news. Your child has now have access to thousands of e-books, audio books, and other e-materials courtesy of the San Francisco Public Library. Every student in SFUSD has received a scholar card, and a scholar card is a SF Public Library library card. Now you might think, Mr. Sova, I already have a library card. What do I need another one for? Well, this scholar card is specifically for SFUSD students, and it gives your student a clean slate from your old library card. So if you have any fines, overdue notices, missing materials, those are wiped clean, and we you get to start over. Pretty cool. So in order for your child to activate their Scholar card, they need to go into their Gmail inbox. In your Gmail inbox, you will have gotten a email from San Francisco Public Library on September 1st with the subject line looking like this with the cool little star eye emoji and a green check mark for some reason. So I'm gonna, Take a look at my son Jackson's inbox, and I'm gonna search for SFPL, San Francisco Public Library. Here is the email that he got from the library, and this is the, the content of the email. Everybody's email is gonna look exactly the same, except for this right here. This is my son Jackson's scholar card number. Your child's number will look different. So I'm gonna copy that number to my clipboard because we're, I'm gonna be using it in a couple minutes. There's also some instructions of how you're going to activate your child's card, specifically what the password will be. The password will probably be the two digits of the month and the two digits of the day of your child's birthday. If that doesn't work, there are some instructions down here that will get you on the right track. So I'm gonna click on this beautiful drawing, which is a link right to the library. So my son is automatically logged in. I'm gonna log out to show you what you'll see. So you'll get to this page when you click on that link. And here is where you're gonna put in that barcode from the email. Um, the scholar card number. And then you're gonna type in the four digit password based on your child's month and day of their birthday. And then again, if that doesn't work, you can, there are instructions in the email for how to activate it. All right, mine is activated, or actually I should say Jackson's is activated. So now, you're going to go to, um, so, oh, and if you can't find that email, you can, you can email the library directly. Um, also, in the, in the description box of this email will be all kinds of useful links, so you don't necessarily have to write this link down, okay? Now, before we go back to the library dashboard, I want to talk about the two main ebook services that your child has access to. The first one is called Hoopla, and the second one is called Libby, or sometimes called Overdrive. Hoopla uh, gives your student 30 different titles per month, books, music, CDs, movies, um, there is no wait list, no wait time. Everything is instantly available. And Libby is a little different. Your child will get 25 titles per month. There's a bigger selection than Hoopla, but there might be wait times. There might, you might have to get on a wait list for some of the titles. And it also has better search features. Okay. So uh, to get to the eBooks, you're, you're going to go to uh, the library website and you're going to, let me get rid of these up here, and you're going to click on Books and Media. 
And then ebook collections. Now here is an e audiobook section. We're not going to go to there today. We're just going to click on the ebook collections. And among all the different collections that you and your child have at their disposal, we're just going to take a look at two. We're going to take a look at Hoopla, like I said before, and Overdrive slash Libby. So when you click on Hoopla, you're going to get to this page. And in, let me go back here. Let me go back here. There we go. Now, Jackson, I believe, is already signed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log him out. And you're going to come to a page that looks like this. And you are going to type in your child's email. You're going to confirm your child's sfusd.edu email. And then you and your child are going to create a different password. It's not the same password as for the public library. This is a totally separate password that you're going to create and then confirm. Then you're going to click agree and it'll take you through a couple other clicks and you will be ready to go. So when you're ready to go, it'll take you to this page. Okay, this is Jackson's home page. Now up here where it says kids, if you want to limit what your child has access to, you'll click on that kids until it gets a little check mark. And now it'll show Hoopla Kids Mode. Because if it's not in kids mode, um, your child will have access to everything, in, you know, including materials which you might not think are appropriate for your child's age. So this will uh, limit what they're able to search for. Okay, that is hoopla so when we go back to the sf library ebook collection page let me get that back up now we have libby libby is the other e material site you'll it'll take you to this and you will sign in now this is a little bit different because you won't have to create a new account like you did with Hoopla. You're just going to put in um, your child's scholar card number and that four-digit uh, month, day, birthday combination or whatever that four-digit number was that you used to activate their card on the public library website. Click sign in and you are on that Libby web page. Okay, now this will have access not just to kids' books, but adult, adult books for adults also. Um, you can click on the kids section, and then that will have um, books just for kids. And as you can see, some of these, some titles will be immediately available, and some titles might have a wait list. Um, now, this is particularly cool. This site is particularly cool because it also has a lot of uh, titles in non-English languages. So that is definitely a benefit of Libby. Okay. Um, now, Tumble Books is another uh, website which is not associated with the library at all. This is a... Um, private website that that your child has access to and this also has ebooks and audiobooks so if you click onto the tumble books website there's four different websites i'm just going to go to the tumble book library and then up in this corner you're going to log in and the login is sfusd and the password is just login, L-O-G-I-N. After you sign in, you get access to storybooks, read-alongs, ebooks, graphic novels, all kinds of books. Another great free resource 
for your child. Okay, I think that's it for now. Now remember, um, I will put in the description part of this video um, links and timestamps for different chapters so you can easily fast forward ahead to all the content in this video. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please shoot your teacher an email um, and they will be able to help you. And uh, if not, I am also always available to help as well. Good luck and happy reading.